Welcome to JB Lemonton, the Rangers video channel connecting you to the greater JB Lemonton area. Today, we are headed to the romantic region of Southern Oregon's Rogue Valley ABA to check out some of the best wineries and vineyards the region has to offer. Oregon's Rogue Valley is the southernmost AVA, or wine region, in the state. It's over 70 miles wide and 60 miles long, and it dates to the 1840s when European immigrants first came to the area and began growing wine grapes. The region's weather allows for both cool and warm climate grape varieties, and it has the highest elevations of all of Oregon's AVAs. If you're hoping to enjoy the stunning views Rogue Valley offers from such a high elevation, Head to Wooldridge Creek Vineyards and Winery, located in Grants Pass, Oregon. Wooldridge Creek Vineyards and Winery is a stunning location to enjoy wine while participating in sustainable viticultural practices. The vineyard is owned by Ted and Mary Warwick and Greg Panitz and Cara Almo. Uh, my name is Greg Panitz. I'm the winemaker and one of the owners here at Wooldridge Creek Winery. I Wooldridge Creek Winery has 56 acres of planted wine grapes. The winery also boasts its own crush pad creamery and chartreuserie. So we are the only combined winery, creamery, and charcuterie in Oregon, and potentially the only one in the United States. Uh, we have uh, both a winery, we'll have, we have a winery, a creamery, and charcuterie on site where we produce wine, cheese, uh, salami and prosciutto, as well as we ferment vegetables here uh, on site as well. Uh, so one of the goals here at, at Wildridge Creek is to have a whole farm approach to, to what we're doing. And, and what that means for us is, is closing the loop. And I'll give you an example of that. Uh, one example is we have a creamery uh, where uh, we make cheese. And, and well, when you make cheese, you separate uh, the whey from the curds. Uh, that whey is very high in protein. And it turns out it's very good to feed to pigs. So uh, one of our employees who just walked by here a second ago, uh, she is uh, doing husbandry, animal husbandry for us. And, is and we, she takes that whey every couple of days and feeds it to the pigs. So that's part of what I'm talking about when it comes to closing that loop. If you need somewhere to relax after touring Wooldridge Creek's beautiful vineyards, complete with a lake and hillside forest, head to their tasting room. There, you'll be able to enjoy crisp wines in the summer heat and a beautiful mixture of small treats. Another view you don't want to miss is the vineyard cellar. Next up on our list of Rogue Valley wineries is Cliff Creek Cellars. Cliff Creek Cellars is owned and operated by the Garvin family. It produces quality, estate-grown wines. Hello, I'm Ruth Garvin, and I'm part of the Garvin family that owns Sam's Valley Vineyard and Cliff Creek Cellars. And you're standing here with me now, right in front of our Syrah block, one of our most prized varietals that we grow. We have been growing since 2000. We're now a 53-acre um, vineyard, and our brand, Cliff Creek Cellars, is made out of almost all exclusively estate grapes from this vineyard. Their vineyard, known as Sam's Valley Vineyard, is tucked away in the beautiful valley in Gold Hill, Oregon, and it's part of the Upper Row Wine Trail. When my brothers and I sat down, because this is our project, to say, what kind of wine do we want to make? We um, all agreed, which if you have siblings, you know that's rare. Yeah. And um, we wanted to make old world style French wines in the new world. So lots of times we say old world in the new world, uh, with a new world twist. And we want to make age worthy reds. And so that's what we set out to do. We specialize in Bordeaux and Rhones. So Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc Merlot, and then um, Syrah. And um, we do have a, about uh, 1.7 acres of Syrah, or Sangiovese, excuse me. Before we explore another winery on our list, check out this quick video from one of our sponsors.
Welcome back to JB Lemon 10. We're taking you to another jaw-dropping vineyard, Chriselle Cellars, located in White City, Oregon. Chriselle Cellars has incredible handcrafted wines and impeccable vineyard views. The vineyard produces Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Tempranillo, Malbec, Sangiovese, and Sauvignon Blanc wines. My name is Scott Steingraber. I'm the owner and the winemaker here. Uh, my wife and I own the business. Uh, my wife is Chris Sell. The wine business here started in um, 2007 okay. when we first started uh, planting vines. Uh, I started, I started uh, making wine myself about 20 years ago. Okay. The Chriselle Cellars Tasting Room overlooks the vineyard and has one-of-a-kind views of nearby mountains, rolling hills, and neighboring agricultural fields. Chriselle Cellars has been working hard to cultivate strong relationships with those neighbors, too, ensuring mutual benefit and regional excellence in available wines. We'll tell our customers, hey, here's, here's the next winery if you're going east, or here's the next winery if you're uh, going, going west. Some of Chriselle Cellars' specialties include Cabernet Sauvignon, which has won the winery plenty of awards over the years, Cabernet Franc, Malbec, and Tempranillo wines. Last on our list of Rogue Valley AVA wineries is Ledger David Cellars. Ledger David Cellars was founded by David Troll and Lena Varner. The winery owners have a strong commitment to family values and a long history of military service within that family. Good afternoon, I'm Heather Davis. Welcome to Ledger David Cellars. We are located in Central Point, Oregon, next to the world famous Rogue Creamery and Lilybell Chocolate. We are known for our Primoris, which is Latin for first. It's very first vintage wine we made, very first people in the Rogue Valley to grow it. It is a Chenin Blanc that we do in a French Vouvray style. Ledger David Cellars winemaker Rob Folin is a veteran of the U.S. Marines, and he's been making wine with Ledger David Cellars since 2013. The best part of winemaking is totally not this right here. This is not it. The best part of winemaking is making the wine. 100% is, uh, you know, you have you get your one chance a year to, to do it. And you start out with a plan, you kind of know how much how many grapes are coming in, uh, what you're going to do with them, and then you're watching, you're kind of growing, you know, watching those grapes grow over the course of the growing season. So you got a plan, and that first grape, that first berry rolls down the line, all your plans totally change, just like that, well, just one berry, like totally changes it up, and then you're kind of, Kind of fly to me, fly by, see your pants, and see see how things start coming out. Clearly, there's no shortage of amazing wineries and vineyards here in the Rogue Valley AVA, with stunning views and rich, flavorful wines. Hopefully, if you were thinking of taking a weekend trip, you consider coming down here to the Southern Oregon Rogue Valley AVA. Thanks for watching JB Lemon Tips. We'll see you next time.